Hello everyone! In this discussion, we will be solving additional exercises under the topics parametric equations in R3 and vector valued functions. Before we begin, it is recommended that you familiarize yourselves about the lesson by watching the lecture videos or reading the corresponding slides regarding this topic. In the previous lesson, we were introduced with a new class of functions, the vector valued functions. For our first exercise, we are asked to find the domain of the following vector valued function denoted by capital R of T. Recall that in order to obtain the domain of a vector valued function, we need to get the intersection of the domain of each of its components, namely ln of t squared minus 1, t squared minus 1 over t minus 2, and e raised to t. So first, let's let x of t to be the first component ln of t squared minus 1, uh, y of t to be t squared minus 1 over t minus 2, and lastly, z of t to be e raised to t. Let us first determine the domain of x. The domain of x consists of all real numbers t satisfying t squared minus 1 greater than 0 since the domain of a natural logarithmic function consists of all real numbers which are possible. Now one may verify using the table of signs method that uh, the values of t satisfying t squared minus 1 greater than 0 are all the values strictly less than negative 1 and those values which are strictly greater than 1. Now the domain of y is easier to determine since we only need to uh, remove values for which the rational function is undefined, and that is the value 2. So the domain of y consists of all real numbers r minus 2. And lastly, since there is no restriction for the domain of the exponential function, then the domain of z consists of all real numbers. Finally, the domain of the function r is equal to the domain of x intersection the domain of y intersection the domain of z. And this intersection is just the domain of x uh, minus 2 since we need to accommodate the domain of y. Thus, we are left with the interval negative infinity to negative 1, union negative 1 to 2, union 2 to positive infinity. And that is the answer. Moving on to our next exercise, we need to sketch the graph of the given vector valued function uh, defined by 4i hat plus 2 sin tj hat plus 2 cosine tk hat. Again, let us first write down the parametric equations of this vector function. So let x of t be equal to 4, y of t be equal to 2 sin t, and z of t to be equal to 2 cosine t. Since the x component is simply a constant, we may infer that the graph of the curve lies on the plane x equals 4. Let us write that down. Moreover, from our previous lessons, we should be familiar with the components y and z 
consisting of the parametrizations of the circle of radius 2. Thus, the curve satisfies the equation we may expect that the graph would be a circle of radius 2 lying on the plane x equals 4. Still, let us uh, get some sample points for when t is equal to the following values, uh, 0, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2, since we are expecting a circle. When t is equal to 0, Substituting it to our parametric equations, uh, we will get x, y, z to be equal to 4, 0, and 2. For the rest of the values, please verify that we will obtain the following results. Now we may proceed with plotting the sample points. Uh, first, we have 4, 0, 4, 0, 2, which would be around here. Then we have 4, 2, 0, which would be around here. Then we have 4, 0, negative 2, which should be around here. And then we have 4, negative 2 0 which would be around here uh, this drawing is not up to scale but this should uh, be a circle of radius 2 centered at 4 0 0 and the direction since we uh, moved from 4 0 2 to 4 2 0 should be this in order to illustrate accurately uh, the sketch of this graph, let us refer to the following uh, graphs. Displayed right now is the graph of the plane x equals 4. As for the cylinder, uh, we generating curve y squared plus z squared equals 2 with a rulings parallel to the x-axis we have this uh, illustration. Again, the curve we are trying to sketch a while ago uh, is the intersection of this cylinder with the plane uh, x equals 4. And indeed, their intersection is a circle uh, centered at 4, 0, 0. For the next two exercises, we need to find the vector valued function or parametric equations of the pivot curves. We start with the line segment from the point P to the point Q given by the following coordinates. For this example, it is enough to find a direction vector and use one of the points in order to find the vector valued function. A direction vector for this is the vector PQ, which can be obtained by subtracting the coordinates of Q uh, by the coordinates of P. Thus, uh, the vector PQ has components 1 minus 6, 0 minus 2, and 8 minus negative 3, giving us uh, the vector negative 5, negative 2, 11. Now, using the initial point P, we can obtain the vector valued function of the line containing the point P with the direction vector PQ by subtracting the components of PQ times the parameter T from the coordinates of P. Thus, we can define R of P 
to be 6 minus 5t, 2 minus 2t, and negative 3 plus 11t. However, again, this represents uh, the line containing p, whose direction vector is uh, pq. But we only need the line segment from the point p to the point q. Thus, we need to restrict our parameter t to certain values. Uh, for that, we need to find uh, the value of p for which we can obtain the initial point p and the uh, terminal point q. Note that uh, we get the initial point when t is equal to 0. To verify this, we substitute 0 uh, to the components of r of t and we obtain 6, 2, and negative 3 respectively. Uh, meanwhile, the terminal point can be obtained by taking t to be equal to 1. Indeed, if we substitute t equals 1 uh, on the components of r t, we obtain 1, 0, and 8 respectively. Finally, we conclude that uh, the vector valued function uh, representing the line segment from p to q uh, has equation r of t, which is equal to 6 minus 5t, 2 minus 2t, and negative 3 plus 11t, where t runs from 0 to 1. And that is uh, the answer. Uh, we shall look for the vector function of the semicircle x uh, equals positive square root of 25 minus z squared lying on the xz plane uh, from the point 0, 0, 005 to the point 0, 0, negative 5. Here we have the semicircle in question. Note that since it lies on the xz plane, then we must have that the component y is equal to 0 for any value of the parameter t. Moreover, uh, we know that the semicircle satisfies the equation x squared plus z squared, which is equal to 25 from this equation. Uh, of course, there is a restriction for x to be uh, greater than or equal to 0 since it is just the semicircle uh, with positive x values. Since y is a constant, then we only need to give a parametrization for uh, x squared plus z squared equals 25, which we are very familiar with. We let to be equal to 5 sine t and z to be 5 cosine t. Of course, we can also define x to be 5 cosine t and z to be 5 sine t. It will still yield a parametrization for the equation of this circle of pages 5. However, we will have a different value of t both are still correct so if you want to define them that way it is okay uh, for here uh, for this one uh, we need to restrict t in order to have an initial point of 0, 0, 005 and a terminal point of 0, 0, negative 5 note that uh, the initial point can be obtained when t is equal to 0 while the terminal point can be obtained when t is equal to pi. Indeed, if we substitute t equals 0, x would be 0, y would be 0, and z is equal to 5.
on the other hand, if we substitute t equals 5, then we will have x to be equal to 0 still. y is still 0. And lastly, z is equal to negative 5. Therefore, the factor valued function we are looking for would be r of t with components 5 sine t, 0, and 5 cosine t, where t runs from 0 to 5. And that is the answer.